Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to be tackling uh, a question that one of my students posed to me um, in our lab for our digital electronics class. It asked for a pulse clock counter um, and since we're not building this uh, by hand using our frequency generator or function generator to generate these um, they weren't sure how to do it in multisim so my goal now is to show you how to do that and it's actually quite simple we come here to a source because that's what this actually is it's a, a source um, and if we look there's several different options through here but what will work best for us is a clock voltage and if you look at it closely it actually shows a square wave um, now we're going to use the voltage because current really doesn't matter we're worried about an on off voltage so this is really all we need we just place this in the schematic where the uh, function generator will go and we attach it to ground and then we can attach it to whatever our gate logic is say in this point uh, I'm going to connect it to this AND gate here and then if I add in a switch and well, I'm going to need a voltage source to control this switch with a pull-up resistor. It was getting a little chaotic because I really didn't plan anything. Let's see. We'll need something for an output. We'll have it light up a little LED. So we'll take this and we're going to slow it down to something we can see, say five cycles. Um, <clears throat> It'll be a fast blink. We might have to slow that. Actually, let's let's go ahead and make that three. Uh, let's change this output resistance to something meaningful. <coughs> um, actually, that could probably be lower. Um, a pull-up resistor probably needs to be larger. And so now, when we simulate this. <coughs> So, here to make it a little bit easier to see, let's do this. Let's add in some logic probes. So, you can see this one's blinking on and off following this, and this is constant high. But if I close my switch, it creates a low signal and the LED turns off. Uh, I've essentially created a gate here. Um, you know, and so I can allow the signal to go through or not. Um, but to create a pulse counter uh, or something along those lines, we're just going to use this right here, a little voltage um, clock. All right. Clock voltage. So simple as that. That's all you need to do.